Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, members of the Oxbridge Society, and welcome to this Oxbridge Society fireside chat on the US election and foreign policy implications. The tradition of our fireside chats goes back to the 1950s when returning Oxbridge members coalesced together to create socially and as a political salon to discuss events of the day. That tradition of the fireside has morphed to become an important source through which information is shared, information gleaned, our members able to voice opinions in a non-partisan political, non-partisan way which benefits the body politic of the country. And it's also an opportunity for us to learn from eminent persons passing through Singapore or residing in Singapore. In these fireside chats, we've had the great and good of Singapore society, Nobel Prize winners, and uh, many leading academics, as well as policymakers and government leaders from other countries address us. Tonight, I'm particularly delighted that we have Frank Lavin to speak to us, and I'm going to say a little bit about Frank in a moment, but may I also acknowledge the eminent visitors who are joining us online tonight. We have a number of ambassadors. Welcome ambassadors, and I'm glad your excellencies have joined us. Um, I do hope that you'll find the session interesting. We're six weeks away from the US election. Some American citizens have already started voting in postal votes. The backdrop, of course, could not be starker, both globally and domestically within the US. Globally, we all know about the virus that has wrecked economic carnage on the global economies with the second wave and second lockdown possible in parts of the Northern Hemisphere. Human interaction and social intercourse has been severely impacted. Critical businesses in many sectors on their knees, nationalism on the rise, as countries try desperately to shore up their battered economies, a generation of young job seekers, including some of our members, trying to find jobs with dismal prospects, mental anguish now a feature in families and societally, governments in many instances floundering reactively. And in, sadly, there's a dearth of global leadership with vision, solutions, and moral authority to deal with the challenges facing society. And unfortunately, some would argue the liberal democracies like the USA, India, and the UK have been amongst the worst culprits in tackling COVID. Obviously in the US, domestically, the position is even more trying. <coughs> its liberal democracy has spawned huge unrest in the streets, militia taking over some sit some towns or certain districts black despite black lives matter questions as to if there is going to be improvement on that score tent cities we know about its leadership in covid deaths fissures in u.s society and the bottom 30 percent of the economy probably in relative terms worse off than they were 30 years ago foreigners fearful to visit the US. <coughs> and in many parts of the world there are feeling that the US is now an unreliable partner. Ask the EU, ask NATO, ask TPP, WHO, and last night at the UN, China, of course, in many ways, gaining the upper hand in how it approached the discussions. And of course, a US president with personal issues. Frank Lavin, our distinguished speaker, is going to take us through what to look for in the next, in the final weeks, what is driving voter decisions in the US, the tactics of the two campaigns, foreign policy implications, particularly what a Biden or a Trump victory would mean for foreign policy, and what implications for Singapore. Frank, before I hand you the floor, let me remind members that you are tonight's distinguished speaker because you are political director in the George Bush Senior administration in the White House. You are a US trade negotiator and undersecretary for commerce under Bush Senior. US ambassador here nearly 20 years ago when we first got to know each other. Yeah. Um, and you've of course lived the last six years in this country and are my boss 
as chair of the International Council of the NUS Medical School. Frank, over to you to talk about a US election, which commentators, if I may quote, have referred to as being more about emotion than the head, the most mm. polarized, the ugly face of irrationality, and sure. some even saying lose-lose for America. Frank, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Paul, for your quotes, and uh, thank you for that uh, introduction. And let me say to the uh, Oxford and Cambridge Society, I'm delighted to be able to spend some time with you.